hello everyone welcome back here to another amazing video it's a beautiful evening here and today we are going to be checking out the famous Luboa hill one of the richest neighborhoods in Kampala it's been a long day ah. yeah so let's walk uphill and I show you where the rich hide this side the controversial hospital is over there <laughs> Pinati's hospital ah. this old massive disguise manufactured before even I was born but still working still powerful on the road here we go that is roofing guys it's a steel company it's located here along Entebbe Road and by the way this company supplies steel steel products all over Eastern Central Africa there are many hills around that one is called Seguku then from Seguku you go to Bunamwaya and then Kampala City is around that area So this is a clinical research center guys, joint clinical research center head office. Yeah, there we go behind me is the clinical research center's main gate. Right now, let's climb this, this hill. Let's go uphill. I don't know if they will allow me to record the vlog inside the mall, but let's go and I will try my luck. It's very calm here, very many trees. A lot of vegetation. By the way, this place is next to Lake Victoria. When you go on top of the hill, you'll be able to see the lake and you enjoy a nice breeze from the lake there, from the lake down there. Also, one thing I've noticed, there are many white people living here, residing here. Most cars that are passing by are full of bazungu, white people. So this is the the mall. But I don't think they will allow me because there is security there. Usually security doesn't allow to, to record inside. But what we do, let me first walk and we finish up this street. We see what lies here. And then we shall come back and I try out the mall and see whether they'll allow me. It's called Quality Supermarket. It's a big one. This one is a supermarket here. Some nice apartments there. See the wazungus, white people doing shopping in there. I remember there is a subscriber who asked me to make this video last year, a video about Luboa. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't make the video, but here it is. I hope it's not too late. Yeah, this is how your home area looks like. So there are some nice apartments here, guys. Very nice looking. Let me go and. Uh, I tried to get permission and see whether they will allow me to vlog inside there, inside those apartments. Looking very nice. Let me ask security here whether they have some empty ones. So this is in Deje. Deje Hill is down there. Deje Hill and then the lake is around that area, that point. Apartments for sale, Spring Hills Apartments. Hello, how are you? Are there some units which are available for rent? They don't have? Yeah, no. Okay, but I'm seeing here apartments for sale. For sale stroke rent. Yeah, we have the two bedrooms. Two bedrooms? Can I come and check them out? Yes, sir. Yes, 
<laughs> yeah, say they have a, they have some, they have two two rooms, a two room apartment. Yeah. So let me ask if you can allow me to go and uh, show you shortly how it looks like. Yes, Mr. Fine. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. Me, I'm a vlogger. I'm a YouTuber. I make videos about Uganda, real estate, a lot of things about Uganda. So I was walking around and I saw these apartments. Is it fine for me to come and have a tour in case you might get some clients from here? You come with them. Huh? You come with a customer. No, a, a room tour maybe. Because someone cannot take without having a tour. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You come with them. No, me I don't bring them, I just show them. I make videos and put them on the internet. Uh, but we are not yet Concentrated. <laughs> He's handling many things at the go. He has kept me waiting here for almost 15 minutes, and right now he's talking to other people. So I think right now the sun is going down. I think let me continue moving around to show you other places. Looks like we don't have a chance of uh, having a tour here. All right, let's go. That's how the apartments look like. I think I'm also going to take you down there in the valley. And we check out the NSSF apartments, NSSF built apartments down there in the valley around there. Mujeb Aleko, Jiga and Ajitia, Mumpeku Yokuria, Angel and Numa, Mumpeku Yokuria. Yeah, they are hustling on the street, selling fruits. I don't know what lies ahead here. I'm just walking, guys. I've never gone past that supermarket ba behind there, which we've left behind. Look at this beautiful house. Wow. This unit is very good. Wow, guys, check that out. Though we are against the sunlight, but it's very nice. Oh my god, there is so much green in this area. That's one thing I love about it. Very cool, the breeze is amazing. Ah. So this is an estate. That is one of the gates that goes to that estate. And there is some area in Kololo which looks exactly like this road like this street but i don't remember the name of that street yeah there we go like apartment Dollar Rusambu. That's around 2.1 UGX. $700. A three room apartment, self contained. Ache, family home, family house. Stand here alone. Wow. Kali. You better stand here alone. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Just come with your clothes and sleep. Okay. Is that feasible? Okay, that's around $180. Yeah, guys. <laughs> $1,000, $1,500. A standalone family house per month. Wow, wow, wow. I can't believe this. But let's continue with our tour. 
Gorilla Tours. These are their offices, Gorilla Tours, Uganda. Yeah, actually, if you want to go and tour the gorillas in Bwindi Impenetrable Forest, you can come to their offices here. Gorilla Tours, it's one of the companies that can offer you the service. Gorilla Tour. By the way, we have uh, almost, okay, not almost, it's a fact. We have 50, more than 50% of the entire mountain gorilla population here in Uganda. Rwanda has a little percentage of them. So when you come to Uganda, you'll have a better experience of the mountain gorillas because we've got plenty of them uh, in big numbers and they are friendly to people. Yeah, you can come and check them out. Rwanda and Congo have got only a few numbers of the mountain gorillas. So this is an international school. A small apartment here. Hello, how are you? How is business? You are Masai? You're from Tanzania? Oh, how is Uganda? Eh? Uganda is Zuri? Kabisa, eh? Kabisa. Okay. Yeah, brother. Nizi ngapi? 25. 25,000? Yeah. Hey, that's a lot, brother. Yeah, how much? Eh? When I make up. But I don't have a bag. I would have bought, yeah. but I don't have where to carry. This, one, yeah, this is video. <laughs> I'm vlogging YouTube. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to, v to YouTube. Hey. Say hello. Hi, hi, hi. Kiria. Hey, hey, you speak Luganda? Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. Small, small. Hey. How long have you been in Uganda? Uh, Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. Uganda. 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 Yeah. Uganda. 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 Oh. Yeah. Guys, right? yeah. this is the problem of language barrier. Yeah. He's speaking Swahili. Uh -huh. I can't speak Swahili. Yeah. I'm speaking English. Yeah. He can't speak English. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and Uganda is small, small. Yeah, okay. Bye, bye. brother. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so Maasai warrior in Kampala selling crafts selling shoes Maasai boy trying to make a living in Kampala you can actually see many of them many Maasai people yes oh he's calling me I see many Maasai people in Uganda selling honey selling local herbs and also these crafts. Bring number. Huh? Bring number. Yeah. Which number? Bring number. Number yangu? Yeah. <laughs> He's asking for my number. Yeah. But I don't have a reason why I should give him my number. Yeah. It's okay, brother. Don't worry. Hakuna yeah. shida. Hakuna yeah. problem, eh? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder why he was asking my number. Guys, that's the, the reason. What well, This is one of the reasons why I want to go to Kenya and spend some good time there because I want to learn Swahili. Yeah, in my live stream last weekend, I told you guys that I want to learn Swahili. Swahili is the next big thing. So you see that young man there? He was trying to speak Swahili to me and I couldn't respond. I tried speaking English with him he doesn't understand and luganda he understands only a little so swahili is going to take over that's why i'm i'm recommending each and every one of you to learn swahili it's the next big thing the entire continent is going to adopt this language it is the most spoken language around africa Woo. <sighs> Jacaranda Lane. The funny thing, I'm walking, but I don't know where this road leads. I'm walking, but I don't know where this road leads, wherever it leads me. But there are many white people here, guys. Many whites behind me. There is a, a couple, white couple. And also there is a white lady here coming nice apartment 
there. Hello, how are you? Well, how do you find Uganda? Good. <laughs> Oh, this area is, man, looking nice. The higher I go, the more beautiful it becomes. <laughs> the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. The higher you go, the more beautiful. More apartments here, guys. Wow, it's getting more beautiful here. The higher we climb the hill, let me just follow the road up to where it leads me. Yes, Mzee. Yes, yes, Jumbo. Yeah. Mm. Mzee is having an evening walk. Guys, it's very quiet here. Very chill and serene. Oh my god, I'm loving the area. <laughs> Fisa, how are you? Is this a hotel? Okay. It's a private property? Oh, thank you. Guys, look at this place. I thought it's a hotel. But it's a private property. Luboa. I didn't know guys Luboa Hill is this beautiful guys this community I didn't know that this community on Luboa Hill is this organized I've never come here this is my first time I used to have been already stopping down there around Watoto Church and the supermarket very organized community Yeah, so this one goes on top of the hill. Elijah Rice. Wow, wow, wow. This is a lovely community. Hello, Mzungu. How are you? How do you find Uganda? Very nice. Very nice? Okay. So this is a roadside flower shop but there are no sellers prepared outside vegetable garden and flowers that's the phone number there is skuma wiki for the kenyans you love skuma wiki so much but majority are flowers here this is an indian house for their gods these are the color bushes. Wow. I think this is lavender, guys. Is it this? Is? This must be lavender. Guys, 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 guys. But let me go back. Let me go. 
up to the top of the hill. <laughs> I was sloping down because I'm tired. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Who knows that song? Yeah, so right now I can see the lake. I can see the Lake Victoria. Let's go on this side. We shall be able to see the lake very well. surprised there is still free land here wow that area looks very beautiful it's green I'm surprised there is free land here guys but it must be expensive this land here must be so expensive this one is like uh, 80 80 feet from that side to that side around eight by it goes up to down there it's around 80 by 200 feet wow there we go it's very quiet i don't want to shout house there under construction Naziba Hill Road this is a nice home guys So right now that's the top of the hill and right now the road is descending we've started to descend you can see there we've been coming uphill and right now we are descending but look all but look at all this green guys it is so lovely here and the lake is there I don't know if you guys are seeing the waters wow 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 Another nice home here. So the road goes around the hill. Wow. I have to see where this road leads. <laughs> Wow, look at this other home. Hillview Rise. Actually here, houses are built, are built on rocks. Like you see here. This fence is in between a rock. 
Wow. So here they are still developing the area. So this side is not that developed like where we've come from. It's fairly, it's a coming up neighborhood. Hello, how are you? You're fine. Yeah. Officer, how are you? Ole Kazi. Yeah. You know, when they look at me so much, I speak their language. Polekas means well done. That's a Swahili word, but it's, it is mostly used by the security, the army, police, and other security agencies. Yeah. So here, we are going to slope down. Guys, it is looking nice here, the view. The view is heavenly. There are many houses down there in the valley. Many nice looking houses. Which road is that? There is a road there. I don't know which road could that be. Let me try to locate this area. Which area is this, guys? Which area is this? <laughs> guys I'm lost I'm trying to to find out where I am and also to see whether I'm familiar with the surroundings the, the neighborhood but no because I don't understand the area very well the neighborhood the hills around this looks like the express it can't be the express road but i'm um, seeing that looks like Nachigalalati estate around it there yeah though it's a bit foggy there is some little fog there looks like Nachigalalati estate and then the express must be somewhere around there wow look at that guys so right now I'm seeing the lake is on the other side, Lake Victoria. Wow, I think I should ask this guy about this area. Big boss, Jewali. Uh, what is the name of this area? Hey. Lubowa. How about that hill? What is the name of that hill? Wagadafi? The hill belonged to Gaddafi. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Wow. <laughs> so guys, according to this man, he's telling me that hill belonged to Gaddafi. Okay. 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 No, Gambe Yonanja sides are white one. Busaba Lani. Wakaja. Norga umbara ntunga mo kabale. Yo antunga. No yo antunga. Hey, chochirunji. Amazina gawe. Gumisi liza Moses. Kale gumisi liza bela bulunji. Uhanga kulinde. Luna luna lugudo lunsula ku main luno. Eh. Eh. No kwata mululi. So no dai wansi ku ntebe road. Eh. Okay. Kale we bale. Mm. So I'm going to be using this feeder rod to to find my way. Let me hope I'll be safe to find my way back to the main road where I came from. Okay, some banana plantation there. I'm surprised there are still gardens this side. 
so that hill you're seeing there in the background belonged to Gaddafi according to this young man who I've just been with he has told me but it was taken over wow and it looks like the highest point in this area so I'm going to slope here hopefully this one will lead me okay I'm seeing a tarmac road here let me use here it is proceed it is proceeding there but uh, let me take this route got to be careful my shoes are not that good yes there are many stones on the road so I have to be careful otherwise I'll find myself on the ground Look at this nice house, guys. Looks like an apartment. The Royal Artillery Crystal Rise. Is it a military facility? The Royal Artillery there? I don't know. So this is a nice house, guys. Looking very nice. Another project here. Bakul Mujewali, Jigenda Jitia. Kale, what in the Biwa Kapande Royal Artillery? Is it a military facility? That's the one you move to the Kale, Mwewali Kola Bambi. Yeah. Yo, what's up? The Royal Artillery. <laughs> so looks like I found my way to the main road. Big man Jewali. Jikenda Jicha. Yeah. Nice houses guys. Yeah, so here we are. Here we are guys. So I'm seeing some military vehicles ahead of me. I think I'm going to stop the video here and then we start over from the other point. I think I'm also finding my way here. I remember this road, it connects to Kajansi. This one connects to Kajansi. There is some part of it which goes to Chigo. Yes, it must be going to Chigo. Actually, they are not military vehicles. They are tourist vans. So I think I can keep recording. Oh, let me show you the view from from down here of where I'm coming from. That's where we've been up on the hill. That's the view. Wow, it's been a long day. I think I need some water. So I'm Jebel. Oh, guys, I'm very thirsty, but they don't have cold water. I think let's stop the video here and proceed. Oh, the ebon is. The ebon is practice around here? The ebon is. Yeah, just. part of Huh? No, I'm just a vlogger. My channel is UG Connect. Check it out on YouTube, eh? How many, how many subscribers here? I have 21,000. Hey. Yeah. What is it about? The content is about what? About Uganda, travel, development, hey. real estate, a lot of things about Uganda. Hey. Okay.